So like a lot of pilots, I was skeptical about putting music in the cockpit. I mean, after all, I flew with decades without it. And also the idea that, you know, you're supposed to be listening to what's going on around you with air traffic control, listening for the engine sounds and all that sort of thing. But after flying with some pilots on long cross countries in their airplanes with Sirius XM uh, entertainment, I got kind of convinced that maybe it was something I wanted to try. I've tried a couple things over the years. After all, this airplane, mine actually has a PS Engineering audio piano in it that had a CD player attached to it for years. And I finally just stopped using it and ultimately took it out when I did a panel upgrade because I got tired of lugging CDs around and I never seemed to have the ones I liked with me. Another solution, of course, is playlists from your phone. I do have an aux input that I can plug it in and get uh, music off the phone into the cockpit, but even I get tired of my own music after a while. So the idea of sort of lots of entertainment coming across uh, different channels was kind of something I was really interested in taking a look at. So I happened to find out that Sirius XM is coming out with a new radio called the Tour. And it's all touchscreen, has a lot of capabilities. There's Wi-Fi, you could connect and stream a lot of content if you're in a Wi-Fi environment. Also has voice commands if you're in a Wi-Fi environment. Of course, that's not helpful to us in the airplane where we don't have Wi-Fi connection. There, we're limited to just coming off the satellite, uh, but if the satellites are putting out 150 channels of music, news, sports, commentary, comedy, that sort of thing. So really a great amount of content available to you even in flight. So let's take a look at the install that I did in my airplane. So one of the challenges is to find a place to put the tour radio uh, because it has to be considered a portable installation. So it's not like you're gonna put it in the panel and permanently mount this thing. So I tried a couple of options. One, tried to put it on the glove box door with Velcro. Well, that didn't work. First hot day, it just fell off. So um, finally decided here below the throttle quadrant was a place to go. So I actually uh, attached the mount that comes with it um, uh, down, down here. Then became a matter of, of running the wires and kind of tidying it all up. So you can see if I've got them run up here to power. Uh, and then also uh, coming out of here, we've got uh, out to the music jack, which I have over here. And I've tidied the wires up running along the bottom of the panel here using these little wire clips. I got those on Amazon for like 50 of them for like 10 bucks. Uh, and then the other wires coming over here running up to the antenna, which goes on the glare shield. They're going to tell you on the packaging that it has to go outside because it's designed to go on a car. And it's magnetic and will just stick on the outside of the car. Well, that's not going to work on an aluminum aircraft, of course. So uh, despite their warning that it has to go outside, I put it on the glare shield. Works fine, but it does have a magnet in it, so you've got to keep it away from the magnetic compass or that'll really mess things up. But it seems to be fine, doesn't cause any inter interference at all. So it gets great reception. You can see I've got it wired in pretty nicely. And, uh, and then, uh, I've got to tell you, in flight it's really nice. You get a, a pair of quality headsets, you know, light speeds or pose, something with no active noise canceling, and put it on. It's great stereo, really quality uh, sound coming out of it. And it really makes the uh, cross countries go by in a hurry. You know, you can carefully adjust the volume so that uh, you can still hear ATC. You can still talk to your passengers, no problem. And uh, got great entertainment kind of going on in the background. And then like a lot of audio panels, this PS Engineering one, has the ability to mute when ATC uh, comes on or when a passenger talks. You can turn that on or off as you want. I've turned it off because I just find it kind of annoying. I can get the volume set the way I want it where I can still hear all that uh, without any issues, but I don't get that constant kind of muting of the music in the background. So it, it works pretty well. You can get the uh, Tour Sirius XM radio um, uh, a variety of places. Sporties is offering them starting in August for about 150 bucks and then of course you're going to need a subscription there's great deals on um, getting subscriptions for the entertainment as cheap as free for a few months in some offers um, but for um, starting at about uh, 10 bucks a month you can get a variety of channels and then you can go up to about 20 or 22 dollars a month uh, depending on the package uh, to get it uh, all the entertainment that you want off the satellite and then also streaming which you can use of course when you're in a wi-fi environment the other way to get a great value out of the subscription is to use it in other vehicles. The subscription stays with the radio, so you can actually pop it out like this, take the radio with you, and you can purchase additional uh, uh, installation kits, vehicle installation kits, and you can put the other kits in, in another airplane, in your boat, your motorhome, your car, and uh, just take the radio, pop it into the amount in the other vehicle, and uh, take advantage of your subscription there as well. So pretty versatile and uh, really helpful on a lot of cross-country flights. So let's give it a listen. So I got uh, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers 
uh, change of art on this channel. And like I said, it's one of many, many channels that are available, music, entertainment, uh, comedy, sports, or uh, something heavier rock or classical uh, or news, commentary, sports, comedy here. And uh, probably what will happen is you, like I do with cable at home when you got hundreds of channels, you're going to settle on a half a dozen or maybe 10 uh, that you like. And you can store a lot of uh, presets on here so it's easy to jump back and forth uh, from your favorites. So if you're looking for a way to pass the time on your next long cross country and want some entertainment to do it, check out the new uh, tour radio from Sirius XM. Tom Haynes, AOPA Live.